B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, I want A plus B. 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 so much fun. It's education for you and everyone, so come along. Learn some grammar. Hey. Learn a phrase. Learn something new every day. Learn the A plus away. Hi everybody, welcome to A Plus English, I'm Kat. And I'm Mike. And today we are here for day two of the most convenient place on earth. We have seen Simon and Lucia who went to a convenience store to use the ATM and pay some bills. That's so. right, and that got them to talking about how you pay bills in different countries, That's right? That's right. In Taiwan, it's super convenient because you can pay them at the convenience store any time of the day. That's yeah. a pretty easy way to do it. Definitely. So did you ever have to pay bills when you were living in Canada? Well, I was a student most of the time I was oh. there. But yeah, I, I had to you know, live on my own in college and university, paid bills. The one thing that we should point out is that if you don't pay your bills in Canada or the US, I think it's true in the US, it's much more serious than it is here. For example, yeah. if you don't pay your phone bill or your power bill for your home, they'll cut you off right away. That's right. And then you got to pay a lot more to get them to give you that phone or that power back. Right. So you can't just pay a few days later and then they turn it back on for you. It's a much more serious thing. Right. So if you do live there, do not forget to pay your bills. It'll cause all sorts of trouble. Another and, reason why Taiwan is so convenient. Yes, and the same is true for rent. Like, mm. if I'm a little bit late on my rent here, my landlord will be like, okay, that's eh. fine. But if I'm late in my rent in the US, maybe I have to pay a lot more. Or large men with thick Even necks. Even one day. Or large men with thick necks will <laughs> show up at your door and say, hey, where's the rent? So pay the rent, pay your okay. bills. Okay, yeah. so let's find out what are they else are they going to do at this convenience store today. Let's go to our article to, right now. Culture shock. The most convenient place on earth. Simon and Lucia are still in the convenience store. Simon notices an Ibon machine. What's that machine for? You can do lots of things with it. For one thing, you can buy train tickets. You can also buy tickets for shows and lots more. Wow! And there's more. When you shop online, you can collect your stuff here in a convenience store. That's great! In the UK, I was sometimes out when the postman came. Then I had to go to the main post office. Hey, you need to print out some things as well, right? Don't tell me. I can do that here too. Of course. You can send the file to iBond with your phone and then print it. This is the most convenient place on earth. Woohoo! Wow! Lucia shows Simon how to use the iBond. Shop, shop. Larry shopped for some new shoes today because he has a job interview tomorrow. Larry shopped for some new shoes today because he has a job interview tomorrow. Main, main. The main library in Taipei. Is the one near Daan Park? The main library in Taipei is the one near Daan Park. Convenient, convenient. The new train line to the airport is very convenient. The new train line to the airport is very convenient. Earth. Earth. It takes about three hundred sixty-five days 
for Earth to go around the sun. It takes about 365 days for Earth to go around the sun. 认识智慧 Stuff. File. All right. So let's see how our dialogue for today begins. We have a scenario, a little sentence to set up our action. What does it say? Simon and Lucia are still in the convenience store, so they're still there, maybe doing some shopping. But then Simon notices something else that's kind of special、hmm. and only found in convenience stores. It says Simon notices. An Ibon machine.、Uh-huh. These are those little machines that kind of look like an ATM machine, but they're not. They have a TV, and you can do all sorts of things with them. But Simon's never seen one before, and if he has, he doesn't know what it is. So、right. that's why he asks this question: What's that machine for? Or, in other words, what does that machine do?、Uh-huh. Why would I want to use this? That's a good question because the Ibon machine has a lot of different things you can、mm-hmm. do, and Lucia tells him this. She says you can do lots of things with it.、Hmm. For one thing, you can buy train tickets. Wow! You can also buy tickets for shows and lots more. Huh? So she says this for one thing. This for one thing phrase is like saying, for example, or showing just one thing, the first thing that you can do with this, followed by a list of other things. Often we say, for one thing, blah blah blah. For another thing, blah blah blah. For a yet another thing, blah blah blah. So an example might be, why do you like him? For one thing, he's nice, and for another thing, he's cute. So、mm. that's two different reasons. So you're kind of making a list, but often it's a list of reasons why. That's right. Why something happens. So you wouldn't really say, for one thing, I like hamburgers. For another thing, I like hot dogs. Yeah. That's not quite how we use it. But you might say, for one thing, I like to do this because.、Mm-hmm. For another thing, because. So remember, we often use that for reasons why. That's right. We do things or. Things happen. All right, so it's an it's a Ibon machine. You can use it to buy train tickets for one thing. You can use it to buy concert tickets for another thing. That's right. This is just blowing Simon's mind. They don't have this at most convenience stores or little stores in the UK. So we see that Simon stares at the Ibon. He's looking at it like that's pretty cool. And when you see something that's pretty cool, you might say. Wow! Wow! You're expressing your surprise, and you're you're very impressed. This yeah, is, this is awesome! Wow, it's amazing! Yeah, it's so convenient.、Mm. So, and Lucy is not done. She says, "And there's more." There's more. There's more. Oh, <gasps> there's more. There's more. There's so much more. When you shop online, you can collect your stuff here in a convenience store. Ah, okay. That's not really the Ibon machine. That's another convenient thing you can do at the store. Yeah, very,、mm-hmm. very true. You can shop online and then get your things at the convenience store. Now, here we have this word power word shop. Notice we're using it here as a verb, not as a noun. So it's not like a toy shop, a book shop, a shoe shop. It's to shop. I am shopping. Right now, but it's spelt the same way as the noun s h o p shop. Now I mentioned it could be a noun. You guys know what a shop is. It's like a store. It's a business, a place that you can go and buy things that are there. Now, when you go to that store and you're spending your money and you're picking your things and all of that, you are shopping. So basically, you're just spending your money to get something that you need. That is what it is to shop. For example, Larry shopped for some new shoes today because he has a job interview tomorrow. Ooh, Larry shopped for some new shoes today because he has a job interview tomorrow. So, of course, you can shop in a store, in a shop. But here we were talking about the more modern kind of shopping, shopping online. And then Lucia mentioned that you can shop online, so use the internet, buy the things. But then. How do they get it to you? They、right. can't send it through your computer. That's why you collect it at your convenience store.
That's right. So、mm. some people might have some packages sent to their house, but maybe、awesome. maybe there's no way that you can make sure it's there safely. Or you're not home. Yeah, yeah. So if you don't want somebody to steal your package, or、mm. if you don't want to miss it, you can、mm. send it to the convenience store and、mm. collect it there. So this word "collect" means you pick something up or you get things that you are expecting to get. Like from shopping or from the mail or collect your kids from school. Like you're getting something that you expect to be picked up.、Mm, that's right. This is also kind of a British term. Yeah, we might say pick things up if you're、uh, in North America.、Mm. And British people also use this to talk about people, right? right. I'm going to go collect my friend at the train station、right. in Canada or the States. We would say pick up. But basically, that thing is there if it's a person or a thing, and you want to go get it and bring it home. All right.、Mm-hmm. So next, we see a picture and. What is going on? Well, Simon is remembering his UK time again. Oh yes, what was life in the old country? The old country.、Mm. He's reading a card. So he was reading a card sometime in the UK. He says, "That's great. It's great that you can collect your mail at、mm-hmm. the at the convenience store." In the UK, I was sometimes out when the postman came. Yeah, so that's the problem we were just talking about. When you are out, it means you are not at home. So make sure you don't confuse this with outside. When you want to tell your friend, "Oh, are you at home right now?" No, I'm out. Don't say I'm outside. That means you are outside your house. That、mm. means you're just like near your building, but not in a building.、Uh, but if you say I'm out, I'm not near my house at all. That's right. But you could be at your friend's house. You could be inside, but you're out. Of your home,、That's、you're、right. not home. All right. So yeah, sometimes that does happen, especially if something is coming by the regular mail. The postman will bring a small card. They'll leave it in your near、uh, in your mailbox, and then you have to go. To collect your package at the post office. Now, this postman term again. This is another sort of British term. We might call this person a mailman or、right. a mail carrier. It's basically someone who works for the post office. Here in Taiwan, they wear green and drive those green bikes and stuff like that. That's right. And they deliver letters and packages and things like that. In the UK, they often call them the postman. All right. So next, we see Simon, and he remembers walking in the rain to pick up his. Package from an office. Of course, if it's the UK,、nice. it's raining all the time. Well, yeah, it does rain a lot there. And yes, if you're not home, you have to go and collect your thing from the post office. And that's what Simon tells Lucia as he thinks about living back in the UK. Then I had to go to the main post office. See, this is not as convenient as、uh, it would be if you were、uh, picking it up at a convenience store. That's definitely true, yeah, and、good. so he had to go to the main post office.、Yeah. But what does this word "main"? It's spelled M-A-I-N. It's an adjective that we're using to describe a post office. So let's find out what is "main." So this word "main" means it's like the big thing where everything happens, or it's the most important one, or it's the first one. If you say this is the main place where things happen, that means it's the first place you'll think about. Like the main post office will be the biggest post office. It's the one where everything will happen. Or Taipei Main Station, which is the name for that big station in the middle of Taipei where all the buses go from, all the trains go from, the HSR goes from it. That's why it's the main station. Everything is happening there. Or you could say your main reason for thinking something. Why? Well, my main reason, my number one reason, is this. Or my main problem, my biggest. Problem is this sort of thing. You could also say the word central or major for some of these things too. But here's another example: the main library in Taipei is the one near Daan Park. The main library in Taipei is the one near Daan Park. And so next we see that、uh, his memory kind of ends. He stops, you know. Thinking about life in the UK, he's、mm-hmm. back at the convenience store, back in Taiwan, and Lucia is、uh, asking him a question about something else he might want to do while they're at the convenience store. She says, "Hey, you need to print out some things as well, right?" So、uh-huh. she's remembering maybe this is something that he mentioned before, and now they're there. She thinks about it. Yeah, he said he wanted to 
Print out some things. Right. So I guess this is another thing that you can use a convenience store for.、Mm -hmm. So print out means you take something from a computer and you put it onto paper. Maybe you wrote a story, or maybe you wrote something like a CV, or you have some homework that you wrote online, and you need to put it on paper to give it to somebody, like pictures or documents, other things like that.、Mm. You will print them out on a printer. That's so, right. We often call that a hard copy. That's right. Right. It's not just pictures and data on a computer. You can actually hold it in your hands, and yeah, it can be more useful. Or certain important papers, documents, you need to print them out so you can sign them or something like that. Right.、Yeah. So Simon's remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lucy is correct. He wanted to print something out, but he jumps ahead and he kind of says, "Don't tell me." I can do that here too. Whoa! He's kind of stopped being surprised at how great the convenience store is. So he's like, "What? I can print things out here too. They also have that service. What next?"、Yeah. All right. So what next? Well, we see in the picture that Lucia takes out her phone. I wonder why she's doing that. Yeah, she's in the store. She's got the phone out, and she says to Simon, "Of course, of course, you can print things out." At the convenience store, and then she kind of explains how. I guess after buying train tickets and concert tickets, printing out a piece of paper—that's a pretty simple thing to do. It、so、seems like. So she says,、it. "Of course, you can print things out. You can send the file to Ibon with your phone, and then print it." Yeah,、wow. I do this a lot.、That's、I、cool. actually take my little flash drive、yeah. to the Ibon or the Family Port if it's Family Mart. And use it to print out stuff. But you stuff. can also send it to the Ibon. You don't even need your little flash drive. That's, that's true. That's yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. So picture says that Simon is amazed at all the different things he can do. So he can print. He can. Print out tickets.、Mm -hmm. He can buy things.、Mm -hmm. He can pay his bills. He can get money. Pick up packages. That's right. I heard you can get. You might be able to get airplane tickets too soon. I. That sounds really great. I would. I think that's awesome.、Mm -hmm. I mean, I would love to print out my boarding passes before I go to the airport. Yeah, that'd be fun. Skip、fine. the line. Sure. Yeah. So Simon is so amazed. He says, "This is the most convenient place on earth." Yeah. So now we've got our title. So convenient here is an adjective which we've been talking about the whole time, but we're gonna tell you about it anyway because it's our next word power word. It is spelled C O N V E N I E N T. Convenient. Okay, so this word convenient means, as we've said, it's easy to do something, or something is useful for doing many things, or it's helpful in some way. So all the things that are at a convenience store can definitely help you to make your life a little bit easier. It makes it easy to do a lot of important things all in one place, and that makes it very convenient. So if you say that somebody's there at a convenient time, like, is it a convenient? Time for me to call you. That means, are you busy right now? Is it okay for me to call you? Is that easy for you? Or if this is a convenient place, it's a place that's easy for you to get to from where you are right now. And the noun of this is what we've been talking about with the store. The type of store is a convenience with a n c e store. So here's an example: the new train line to the airport is very convenient. The new train line to the airport is very convenient. And we also have another word power word, and that word is very important for all of us who live here on this planet. Yep. Because it's the name of this planet, Earth. E A R T H. Earth. And of course, since it's a planet, it's a thing. And if it's a thing, it's a noun. And it's Earth. Yeah, it's the Earth. It's a planet. It's floating around in space. Over there's the Sun. Over there's Jupiter, Mars, Mercury, and the name of this one, the one that we live on, the one that is our home, is Earth. That's why we put the capital E on the beginning of it because it's the name of the planet that we live on. So remember that next time you meet some aliens. For example, it says it takes about 365 days for Earth to go around the Sun. It takes about 365 days for Earth to go around the sun, and we call that a year. Okay, so next we see that Lucia shows Simon how to use 
the Ibon. She's showing him the wonders of this wonderful machine. It's a whole new world for Simon.、Yeah. He will never be the same, and neither will we. But first, we have to go to our magic box, and then we'll be back for a quick review. Magic box, 照亮点 Hi, 大家好，我是 Peggy。今天来跟他介绍一个好用、常用、天天用都没有问题的字，叫做 out。O U T out 这个字是一个副词，是 in 这个字的相反 ，in 是在里面、里面，所以 out 就是在外面、朝外面的意思。通常呢，它会跟动词搭配着用，比如说 My back broke and everything fell out from the bottom. My back broke and everything fell out from the bottom. 我的袋子破了一个洞，里面的东西全部从袋子底掉出来了，怎么办？在 fall 掉落这个字后面加上一个 out， 就有从袋子里面掉出来的意思。或者呢，你对一个人很生气，要叫他滚出去的时候，你就可以说 get out。out 除了搭配动词表达出去、出来、在外面等等的意思，我们也很常搭配 be 动词来表达一个人不在家。比如说，昨天邮差来的时候，我不在家，他要送包裹，所以呢，他就留了一个纸条在我的信箱里面。I was out when the mailman came, so he left a note in my mailbox. I was out when the mailman came, so he left a note in my mailbox. 除此之外 ，out 也可以用来表达没有什么东西，或是什么东西用完了、用光了的意思。通常呢，会加上 be 动词，或者是用 run 这个字。加 out， 后面再加上 out， 像是比如说，哦，我家里没有牛奶，我明天回家路上会再买一点。We are out of milk. I'll buy some more on my way home tomorrow. We are out of milk. I'll buy some more on my way home tomorrow. 或者你也很常会在买东买东西的时候看到这个字，比如说某个超热卖商品已经卖光了，店家就会挂上一个牌子，写说 sold out。意思就是卖光了，卖完了，下次请找。最后呢，我们来稍微复习一下 ，out 这个字的意思是出去，在外面，到外面，像是 get out 或是 fall out， 也可以用来表达一个人在外面不在家的意思。最后还可以用来表示什么东西没有了，用完了，也就是 run out of。现在就让我们来练习一下，以下这句话要怎么翻成英文呢？ Nancy 的朋友来拜访的时候，他不在家。我们一起来试试看吧。The answer is Nancy was out when her friend came to visit her. 你答对了吗？ Wait for it! It's review time. 复习时间到喽。All right, we are here for review time, and today we're playing their five questions game that we love so much. Five? I thought it was twenty questions. It's usually twenty questions, but we have only four word power words, and so that means we don't need to think so much about what they might be. I think we have a pretty good idea of what among those words we could pick out. Okay.、Yeah. All right. So who's guessing and who's thinking? I will think. You will think of the word, and、that? I will try to guess the word. But I only have five questions. That's right. And remember, all of the questions that I ask can only be answered with a yes or no answer. Okay. So I gotta think of my questions carefully. Remember, we had shop, main, convenient, and earth. Right. All very different kinds of words. So maybe that、Definitely. should be my first question. Is the word that you are thinking of an adjective? No. Hmm. So obviously, it can't be main or convenient. That's、mm. two down, two to go. I could ask another one about the word, but I'm going to go for it. Is the word you're thinking of a planet? Yes, it is. Earth. It's Earth.、Yay! See, you don't even need five questions. Well, no. Yeah. But you know. But maybe I will try and be a little more challenging when I guess, and I will not ask about word types this time. Oh, okay. Am so I? So it's my turn to think of one. That's right. Okay, I will. I've got the word. Okay,、Hit、I'm going to challenge myself.、Shot. Okay. I know it can't be Earth.、Uh, that would be very tricky if it was. Okay. So,、mm. does this word 
rhyme with plain. <laughs> We're doing rhyme. Does it rhyme with plain? No. Okay. It has to be, cannot be main, it has to be shop or convenient. Because、mm, main and plain rhyme and it doesn't rhyme, so yeah. That's right.、Main. Good okay. logic, okay. Is this word about going and buying things? Yes. Is that a big yes or a not big yes? Yes. Okay. Is it shop? No. What? Then, how could it be about going and buying things? Convenient is not about buying things. We just spent two days talking about how convenient convenience stores are. Okay, for sure. For example, it's not convenient for me to buy a big wooden boat because、yep, I don't know where, where to buy one and I don't know where to sail one. So, that's not where convenient. Where would you put it? Exactly. So, it、yeah. wouldn't be convenient. So, yeah, you're right. Maybe that was a little. A bit fudging、stretchy. there. It was a little stretching, but、yeah. convenience the word you got it. So there you guys, there you go, guys. That's an example of how you can play the five questions game. Have,、yeah. a, have a bash at that. There's a couple more words to do, and of course, you can do this game with any word you can think of. Okay, so we will see you next time. I'm Kat. I'm Mike. Bye bye. See you at the convenience store. Shock. The most convenient place on earth. Simon and Lucia are still in the convenience store. Simon notices an Ibon machine. What's that machine for? You can do lots of things with it. For one thing, you can buy train tickets. You can also buy tickets for shows and lots more. Wow! And there's more. When you shop online, you can collect your stuff here in a convenience store. That's great. In the UK, I was sometimes out when the postman came. Then I had to go to the main post office. Hey, you need to print out some things as well, right? Don't tell me. I can do that here too. Of course. You can send the file to Ibon with your phone and then print it. This is the most convenient place on earth. Woohoo! Wow! Lucia shows Simon how to use the Ibon. Word power! Shop. Shop. Larry shopped for some new shoes today because he has a job interview tomorrow. Larry shopped for some new shoes today because he has a job interview tomorrow. Main. Main. The main library in Taipei is the one near Da'an Park. The main library in Taipei is the one near Da'an Park. Convenient, convenient. The new train line to the airport is very convenient. The new train line to the airport is very convenient. Earth, Earth. It takes about 365 days for Earth to go around the sun. It takes about 365 days for Earth to go around the sun. Stuff. File.